out dredging on a private claim here in Colorado and today we're on a search trying to locate the pay streak. Now the gold here is exceptionally fine so it doesn't deposit in the same way that big chunkier gold does. We have an abundance of flower and flood gold that deposits here on the banks. We're going to push out into that current just beyond. So we're finding just a little bit of flood gold on the surface in the first top foot or two here. Um, and then it dissipated and further out we're finding better heavies and gold in the bottom. Out in this area, the other day, the last thing we pulled out was this big old slab. This is solid lead. Um, now it's flat. We're, we're in the lead line, which is good. However, it's flat, so the current can, you know, push it along a little bit easier than round pieces of lead and or gold. So we're gonna keep exploring this and see what we can find. Screening our cons here down at the river serves two purposes. One, we make our load of concentrates about half as heavy to carry on back to the truck. And secondly, we're screening to an eighth of an inch or better yet to uh, 10 mesh, getting our cons ready for the gold cube. And that's what we're gonna do next. So we're gonna keep our oversize, we're gonna dump it in the gold pans, and we're gonna pan that to see if we have any oversized pickers and nuggets. There's a weird piece of metal, a piece of zipper, or shoe tack or something. Alright, we're back in our favorite spot. We're going to do a cleanup of the gold here. Now, the most important thing. Yeah, if you remember what the gold cube is, um, the classifier concentrates to an eighth of an inch or a 10 mesh. If you classify the 10 mesh, you'll get even a little bit better retention. So you want to turn the cube on. 
You want to make sure your cube is level. So you check the corners. And then second most importantly is, I don't know if you can see down in here, all those little white spots, those are bubbles in the carpet. So what we want to do is take a brush, I got a brush here and a toothbrush, we want to wipe down all the mats to get the bubbles out of the vortex mat. We don't wipe the bubbles in the mat out, the bottoms of the rim will stay completely dry and the cold cannot settle into those crevices. It'll just float over, over the top of the mat and out the end of the sleep. You want to evenly load the box. So I start from left to right from how I'm standing. I feed it, wait until it clears and do some more. Oh, I see a bunch of tiny little gold in here. You don't want water to surge into the box because it can wash out the ripples to the mat. So this is how you clean out your bucket safe. Sluiced all of our cons, we have the moment of truth. Let's take a look in the box. There we have it. Looks pretty darn good. We got some bubbles. Dang, look at all that gold. All in here. Looks like the first three inches caught the most everywhere and I bet you there's a whole line in there as well super fines nice oh we got a big flake down here look at all that gold Back at the shop cleaning up our concentrates. Um, I've panned this down a little bit and now I'm going to apply the pen magnet to remove the magnetics. Now, the first time you pick it up, you want to drop the magnetics through the water. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it picked up a whole lot of gold. And then when we pick them up again, we suck the magnetites through the water, leaving all of that gold behind. Look at that. It's just unreal. So we repeat that process uh, two more times, or so long as no more gold is being left behind. In this case, we're gonna do four. Oh, we got that one. And discard. So this is a pan with uh, magnetites, uh, most of the black sand removed. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this uh, remaining heavy sands uh, there's a mixture of lead and some other things, but it's a really heavy garnet sand. And we're panning troubling, troublesome fine gold. But you can see there, this pan is just loaded with fine gold. And panning it down to clean gold is nearly impossible because these small flakes just like to float and come all, all the way down here. So we're going to suck up a clean line of gold and uh, just repeat the panning process as best we can. So I'm gonna suck up this little line right here and then repan the rest and continue. <laughs> 